Welcome to a presentation on the golden ratio. In mathematics, two quantities are in the golden ratio if their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of the two quantities. Looking at this diagram here, we have the golden ratio if the ratio of A to B is equal to the ratio of the sum of A and B to A. We normally use the Greek letter phi or phi to represent the golden ratio. The golden ratio is exactly equal to the quantity one plus the square root of five divided by two, which is approximately 1.618. Notice the golden ratio is an irrational number. The golden ratio is also called the golden mean, golden section, as well as the divine proportion. There are several ways to express the golden ratio. Here we have the algebraic form, the decimal form. Here we have the golden ratio expressed as a continued fraction. Here's the golden ratio as an infinite series. And here's the golden ratio as a trig expression. A golden rectangle is a rectangle in which the ratio of the longer side to the shorter side is the golden ratio. A golden rectangle is pictured here. This rectangle is thought to be very visually pleasing as a result, it has often been used by artists and architects. And here are two examples. Here we have a golden rectangle in the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. And here we have the golden rectangle in Leo da Vinci's St. Jerome. The golden ratio also appears in nature in the form of spirals. A golden spiral is a logarithmic spiral whose growth factor is phi or phi, the golden ratio. The spiral gets wider by a factor of phi every quarter turn. And here we have an image of the golden spiral. Each quarter turn, the spiral gets wider by a factor of the golden ratio. And here are several examples of the golden spiral in nature. We have the spiral of a shell, the spiral of a plant, the spiral of a weather pattern or storm, and a spiral in space. And finally, the golden ratio is the limit of the ratios of successive terms of the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is given here, which is one of the most famous number sequences. If we look at the ratio of successive terms, we begin with one divided by one, which is one, and then we have two divided by one, which is two, followed by three divided by two, which is 1.5, and then we have five divided by three, which is approximately 1.67, these values are getting closer to the value of the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618. Continuing, we have eight divided by five, which is 1.6, then 13 divided by eight, which is equal to 1.625, and then 21 divided by 13 is approximately 1.615, and then we have 34 divided by 21, which is approximately 1.619. Notice how these values are approaching the value of the golden ratio. There are many other interesting topics about the golden ratio, so you may want to do some additional research. Thank you for watching.